Hey family, what's going on? Watchman Adam here with the video. Today is Monday, April 11th, 2022. And what I'm about to share with you just shows you that the enemy is attacking our kids in these final moments like never before. Let's get right into this. Family, the title of this video is White House Threatened States for Protecting Children from Gender Surgeries and Puberty Blockers. Family, the condition of this country and world continues to downward spiral trend. America continues to mirror Sodom and Gomorrah and attack God's creation. Now the White House is threatening to hold states accountable for passing laws that protect children from irreversible procedures and use for transition into gender surgeries. So this past Thursday, April 7th, Lawmakers passed SB 184, which critics claims outlaws gender-affirming care for transgender children. In reality, the bill punishes physicians who prescribe gender and puberty drugs or perform gender-changing procedures. Lawmakers also passed HB 322, which prohibits trans school students from using bathrooms that are equivalent to the gender they are identifying as. Now, this is what the White House Press Secretary had to say about this. Instead of focusing on critical kitchen table issues like the economy, COVID, or addressing the country's mental health crisis, Republican lawmakers are currently debating legislation that would target trans youth with tactics that threaten to put pediatricians in prison if they provide medically necessary life-saving health care for the kids they serve. And then she went on to say this. Now check this out. Biden will hold accountable states that pass laws protecting children. What they're going to do, if you pass a law in your state protecting children from what they're trying to do, the federal government is going to withhold funding for your state. Family, that's just crazy. That's just sad. Now, kudos to the states that are actually coming against this and doing the right thing. Now, family, let me share some thoughts on this story. It's bad enough pop culture is making kids question gender. We're seeing a huge mainstream push targeting our children. There's kids battling cancer and other life-threatening diseases. Instead of helping them, the Babylonian U.S. government wants to make sure kids can change genders. There's something bad wrong with that. I'm telling you, this system is broken. Children need to learn God's word and be protected. And nowhere in God's word does it say, well, you can change your genders. If you're born a male and you think you're a female, hey, it's okay. You know, God's word don't say that. And if you speak against it, you're labeled as an extremist, intolerant, or accused of hate speech. What's good is being called bad, and what's bad is being called good. What they're doing is not only an attack on our children, but also our Christian values and God's creation. Family, the end is here. The Antichrist spirit is in full force in this world, especially in the U.S. of A. To change your gender is telling God that he made a mistake. And family, God don't make mistakes. Family, like I said, this is just sad. And like I said, kudos to all the states who are coming up against this. God knew what he was doing when he created us. He made man and he made female. And just because you want to be a female and you were born a man, I'm sorry it don't work that way. Family, this is what the end time world looks like. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus will protect the children. And I truly believe in the rapture that the children will be taken. Can you imagine the shock and awe that's going to put on the world? Family, Jesus is coming soon. Look around the world. Look at the condition of the world. Bible prophecy is converging like never before. Family, stay in that full armor. Keep on looking up. Read your Bible. And let's show love to one another and pray daily to God because Jesus is coming soon. And now, family, let me give you the gospel of Jesus. And the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. At the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry. And in three years, Jesus changed the entire world forever. At the age of 33, Jesus Christ loved us enough to go to the cross and spill his perfect, innocent blood for remission of our sins, my sins, your sins, your eighth grade teacher's sins, your best friend's sins, your best friend's mama's sins, everybody's sins. Jesus did it all on the cross and he laid dead for how long family for three days three days three days and that third day he busted that tomb wide open he ascended to be with the father and on this channel we know he's coming back for us soon and family what are we looking for it's that Titus 2 13 blessed hope and world events are pointing to the soon and intimate return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 
Well, family, I hope you have a good rest of your day. As always, I love you guys. If you have any prayer requests, please drop them in the comment section below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our family. On this channel, you are truly more than a number. You are loved and appreciated. And if any of you need a free Bible, please email me at feedtreewatchmen at gmail.com and I'd be happy to get one right to you. And if you feel led to contribute to the channel, you can check the description box below. There's ways you can do so if you feel led to. It helps us get the Bibles out and it helps us on our mission to show love to the homeless. Till next time, watch it now and signing out. Love you guys.